new information on a high-stakes mystery we've been covering for years now. The CIA says that most cases of the neurological illness known as Havana syndrome, remember that, were not, were not caused by a foreign adversary. Senior investigative correspondent Catherine Herridge has the latest on all this. Catherine, I think this was surprising news for a lot of people. Good morning. Tony, it was for many. Good mo morning. The CIA has released new interim findings overnight on hundreds of reported cases of Havana syndrome, ultimately ruling out Russia, Cuba, or any other foreign group as the cause of most of these illnesses. Instead, the majority of reports can be reasonably explained by medical conditions or environmental and technical factors, including previously undiagnosed illnesses. After a cluster of cases was first reported in Cuba, U.S. diplomats and personnel stationed overseas said they experienced Havana syndrome symptoms, including in China, Austria, and Vietnam. Some told CBS News they heard ringing or loud piercing sounds and felt intense pressure in the face with pain, nausea, and dizziness. A recent study conducted for the State Department found the most plausible cause was directed pulsed radio frequency energy. The CIA said about two dozen priority cases remain unexplained and the focus of active investigation, Russian and Cuban officials have consistently denied involvement, Gail. All right, Catherine, thank you very much.